Most animals arrive at the center as officially registered passengers, but some manage to slip in under the radar. Stowaways. I mean, we've had a few over the years, but thankfully they're not that regular. In reception, Admin Officer Mel is getting the background on a hidden hermit crab brought in by RSPCA Officer Jill. We got it from Wandsworth, the lady that brought it back in her suitcase. Oh, so she just accidentally brought it back in her suitcase? That's right, yes. Obviously, when she was going to go and do all her washing, she found it. it was moving along the floor. <laughs> we don't know what time it is. That? No, that's no. where it's come from. from. In Thailand. Yeah. Okay. When it comes to stowaways, a lot of people just wander into somebody's luggage and then, you know, just haven't got a clue, and then they end up in cloudy, cold England from sunny Thailand, bless them. And what do you want us to do for the long term? Do you want rehomes? Yes, please, if possible, because we've got no idea where to take these and exotics. We'll we sort haven't. it out and I'll get you your container back. Yeah, that'd be okay. lovely. Thank, Thank you, you very much. No problem. It's a crab from Thailand, so it's Thailand. Oh yeah, I can see his wee legs. I can see his wee legs. He's in there. He's in there. Mel needs to house the tiny fugitive while they work out how to rehome it. I'm just going to speak to one of the animal tent supervisors, and what we'll do is we'll put in a little enclosure um, with some sand in the middle, and then you know some salt water one side and some normal water the other side until we can do some proper research and find out what exactly enclosure it needs, and then we'll set it all up for it. Always check your bag before you come back from holiday. Always. With over a thousand species of hermit crab worldwide, it could take a while to identify this elusive customer. He is actually in there. I looked. Really? Yeah, you can see some legs. It's really? like a hermit crab. Supervisor Anna and Animal Health Officer Karen are in the reptile room, arranging a temporary enclosure for a stowaway hermit crab from Thailand. I don't think I've um, dealt with a hermit crab in a, in a long time, so um, yeah, we're always um, something new. I guess we just struggle sometimes with just trying to find a suitable accommodation, and as you can tell by this one, where it's um, hidden in the shell, it's difficult for us to try and identify what type of um, crab we're actually dealing with. Until they know the exact species, they're playing it safe and providing the crab with both salt and fresh water, plus a variety of food. We've had hermit crabs in before, but it depends on what species it is and what we feed because they can have a little bit of cat food to start off with or sometimes dog food, it depends on which ones and then we, we try and get their own food or try and rehome them if they need to be rehomed. There's scavengers, scavengers on the floor. The enclosure's almost ready, but Anna's concerned about the size of the crab's shell. I think that shell's too big for them. Yeah. We obviously picked it at some point then. That's the only one that was given. From a smaller one. In the wild, hermit crabs tend to wait until they've almost outgrown one shell before upgrading to a larger one. But this crab seems to have moved into a shell that's too big and too heavy for it. I've got quite a, a collection of shells at home. So if I bring some shells in tomorrow, and yeah. then he can decide what he, he wants, wants to do. He is shell. coming out of the shell, but really probably wants it as a, as a better house. So yeah. I'll, I'll have a look in my collection tonight. Okay. Having done everything they can, they leave the crab to settle in. 